What is going on YouTube? This is Platinum Point, and I'm here to bring you guys another White Short deck profile. This is going to be on my Fruit of Grisaya deck in Japanese. I picked up this set a while ago, and I was testing with this set along with a variety of sets, and I was kind of just haven't had the time to record this deck profile, but now that things are kind of calming down, um, and I'm done kind of experimenting with my content, I decided, you know what, let's showcase my um, one of my many builds of Grisaya. So I'm specifically doing a choice door build with the door climax combo at the one step and the choice climax combo being at the three step. Um, so if you guys don't know what choice triggers are, um, choice triggers are climax that has just recently been introduced into the game and it has the um, trigger ability when this card, when the when this when the climax, or when the choice climax is triggered, you can select a character from your waiting room with soul, and you have the option to either put it back to your hand, or put it into your stock and put this on top of the the character that you stock charge. So this allows you to have it's very versatile as it allows you to either stock charge or sculpt for many pieces that you may need at the time. Um, so without further ado, just before I get onto the characters, let's just showcase how many climaxes I run. I run four of the gates and then four of the choice trigger. So the, for the characters, we play four copies of the free runner Sachi and Yuji. So this free runner is interesting as it has a not only the the generic free run effect but also the the um. Uh, interesting effect that on your opponent's attack step when one of your other characters would be front attack, you can send this to waiting room and give that character plus 1k. So this allows you to help with numbers and help you um, um, defend your board nicely. So this is a, actually a really good option. So I ran this because it's a, a really good utility card at the zero step and you need it in most dex runners. Next, I play four copies of the um, level zero Kazuki. So um, Kazuki has two effects. The first one is a mill two, and if you mill a climax, it get, you can select one character and give it plus 15. And the second effect is basically an auto effect. It's the same thing as the Utaha from the Utaha from Saikano, um, Flat, which is when another character gets front attack, you may pay pay one stock, put this into memory, and then bounce your character that's being attacked. So this allows you to save your character and compress through memory compression. And the thing about Grisaya is that it does that it focuses on building stock while compressing in the memory. So next we play three copies of the coin flip Machina. So this card is actually a really good card. Um, the first effect is when it attacks, you can choose to look up to the top two cards of your deck, select one of them and send it to the, the waiting room, and then you can put the other one back on top. So this allows you to check your triggers, and it also has the coin flip effect at the start of your opponent's draw phase, reveal the top card, and if it's level one or higher, then you can bounce it. So this allows you to maintain resources at the one step and build stock. So it's a good utility zero. Next, we play three copies of the Kazuki Salvage Ricky. So this is just your generic Salvage Ricky. I think it's level one or lower. Oh no, it's a, it's a generic. Oh, cost zero Ricky. So it's a cost zero Ricky. I'm um, sorry, I had to re double check the effect on this. So this is a cost zero Riki, so it allows you to salvage any um, Grisaya characters, which is really nice. And you need it for the um, deck refresh requirements, as you need this in your hand in order to get off a free fresh. Next, we play three copies of the Yumiko Brainstormer. It's a tap self search brainstorm. It the first effect is seem like the Shiro t um, tap self brainstormer, which is on play. Look at the top card of your deck, and you can either choose it to leave it on top or put it on the bottom. So this is essentially a five card brainstorm, and it's a search brainstorm. Um, next, we play one copy of the Headmaster. So what she does is when she comes into play, you have to look at the top two cards of your deck, rearrange them in any order, and the second on-play effect is you may pay one, discard a climax, and salvage 
a climax. So this allows you to climax swap for whatever you need at the moment. So if you need the door trigger for your level for your one step, or if you need the choice trigger for your three step, this allows you to um, swap those out. Now for the one step, we play four copies of the Sachi level one climax combo, which combos with this door. So her effect is actually very similar to go the Goblin Slayer one step, except when it, it's on play, when this climax is on play, when for each um, copy of Sachi, of this level one Sachi on the field, you can either salvage or search f for your level one event. So if you don't know what this level one event is, this event is basically um, something in a warehouse except you only mill two cards and you have to salvage a character whose level is equal to the total level of the cards that you mill. So if you mill one level one and one, two level ones, you get to salvage a level two and lower. If you mill only one level one and the other is a zero, then you can salvage a level one and vice versa. So it basically just checks the total levels and you get to decide. It allows you to, do, to pick which character you get to salvage based on the total level. So it's a weaker version of the um, something in the warehouse event, but it's a decent card because it's an on play instead of an on attack um, salvage or search for event. So this is actually really interesting. I think it's the first one of its kind to have that kind of effect. Um, and it's really nice. I really like the effect. And it also, I think, ha gains... Yeah, 500 for every other Grisai character on board. So this becomes a really big body. And you run it just for the climax combo, it's really good plus, not interactive. Next we play three copies of the level one Suicider Kazuki. So what she does is if you have three cards in memory, she gains an additional soul and she's a level one reversal. So you basically use her to push for damage and to clear boards. So, and it's a really good um, level one for that. And then the last level one is a generic 2K backup. Um, Julia Hardera, Barudera, and then for the two-step, we play one copy of the Amane um, Free Fresh Backup. So her effect is, in order to get the Free Fresh Backup, you need to discard the Ricky from your hand in order to refresh your entire deck. So you that's why I had to play three Rickies, and she's a really good... Um, Good backup generic um, refresh counter. Um, and the last level two I play is the <clears throat> Yumiko anti-early play backup. So it's just a pay one, discard two character, two cards from your hand, and send a character whose level is higher than your opponent's current level to the waiting room. So it's a generic anti um, anti early play backup. And now for the three step, I play one copy of the Kazuki 3 2. So, what she does is when she comes into play, you get to discard a card from your hand and select another character and give it the ability to cat. When battle, battle involving that card occurs, your opponent cannot play events or backups. And it also has an, another on attack ability discard a Grisai character. Your opponent mills the bottom two cards of their deck, and they burn, and you burn one equal to the number of climaxes revealed that way. So, this allows you to. This is actually really good in a, in a compressed deck because it allows you to get rid of climaxes that might be that might be cruising around at the bottom. Um, but you generically just use this to to prevent anti damage, and I only run one of it because of that. Next, we play two copies of the. Amane and Yuji free play level 3. So when it comes into play, you get to um, play another Grisai character whose level is equal or lower to your current level. So it's just you just use it for the free play. And you normally would just play either the Musashis, which is this one, the Musashi Kazuki's. And I only play three at the moment. Or you play your finisher, which is four copies of the Machina climax combo. So what she does, she's actually really interesting. So let me put put everything else aside. So she climax combos with the choice trigger and she I oh, won. <laughs> Sorry. She climax combos with the choice trigger and she's an on play heal. So when this is in play, 
it gains the ability on attack. You may pay one, discard a card, and give a, another character or itself um, on cancel burn. So the burn is equal to the amount of damage you try to inflict and ca and your opponent and cancel. So let's say you swing for three and they cancel, you get to reinflict that three again. So this card, this climax combo is actually really good. It's a really good aggro finisher. So normally what happens is the board that you would set up is two Machinas and a Kazuki Musashi with the climax combo. So you would proc one of the on reverse um, on, on, on cancel burns on itself. So you can bait the clamp, the cancel on that at the swing. You swing with the second um, Machina, give the Kazuki Musashi an additional Musashi effect. So you pay one. So this is basically three instances of damage on herself. So total you're going to get two, one, three. So that's, that's about six instances of damage right there. So you can guarantee to get the finish that way. And the best part about this is you get to decide which order you're going to proc the burn effects, the uncanceled burns. So you mainly are going to be using this on a direct lane. And this costs a lot of stock, so you're going to be burning a total of 8 stock just to get the combo going. But it's worth it because it this uncanceled burn is disgusting especially when you pair it with the musashi since you're basically giving her multiple instances of damage and you can even if you're ballsy just stack it all on her and be fine with that but normally you just want to kind of spread it out um i like the overall i like um this build of grisaya because it's a it's a really aggressive build that is also kind of budget Actually, not really that budget, <laughs> since the um, I think the Sachis are the more expensive level one combo. The Musashis, I forget the price already, but the deck's pretty pricey. But overall, I love Grisaya. Um, the next deck I will be posting for you guys will be I'm trying to decide. Oh yeah, okay. So the next deck that I will be doing is going to be an update on my Sword Art Online deck. Then after that, I will be doing just the rest of the time, I'll be doing um, White Shorts match videos because I've been recording a few on Tabletop Simulator. I hope you guys like th that kind of content. I will be doing some discussion videos in the near future. So I hope you guys are doing great. Hope you guys are safe. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Balls crack that like button. And stay on point, guys. Peace out.